Alright, so uh, I guess we'll go to Crash Man next. Um, show you a fun little uh, silly secret trick in this game. So every time you see me pick a boss so far, you see the, uh, the stars fly by as it introduces a character. Well, right after you pick them with Start, if you let go of Start and then hold down Select and Start at the same time, nothing happens. Pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> That's not how you do it, then. It must be up A and select... Oh, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll see you next time. Alright, again, just... Oh, what difficult array of formations you have that are completely useless against my 8-way blade. My 8-way laser blade. Whoops. Stop getting on there. There we go. The reason you kept grabbing the ladder is because the uh, directional input to have him shoot um, one of these in the down in the down position is down left, and so it interpreted my down as meaning, oh, you want to climb down the ladder. No, I don't want to climb down the ladder. But we're way past that now. So you can pretty much do the same thing here that I've been doing, just you know, shoot in eight directions. There is another way to get through these just as easily. Actually easier, because you don't even have to worry about anything. Switch to Woodman's weapon, jump on here and activate it. Nothing touches you. It doesn't use up any energy. It only uses up energy when you actually shoot it. And it does use a sizable chunk when you do. But for being able to basically be invincible for this long, it's worth it. Because this is intentionally made to make you wait a long time and have to deal with weird formations coming at you at odd angles. You just put this thing on and who cares. And we no longer need that. A little safety tip in the Mega Man series in general for you. Uh, if you're ever on a ladder and you push start to check your, uh, your, your stuff here, watch him real close. You see that? Here, I'll let it happen a little longer. Ah, see, he falls. He lets go of the ladder to check his inventory. So if you're going to check your inventory on the ladder, make sure that you're holding up when you let when you get out of your inventory, or just check your inventory not on the ladder. Going up. Up still. Upper still. This is a very long ladder. Yawn. I don't even care. One little meter on my energy doesn't matter. Later, dude! Oh, come on now. Ah. So here's a little interesting thing about the birds here. If you... See, now, if I go up here aimed off to the right, as I am, the bird will come out to the right. And, yeah, I guess. There we go. Oh, jeez. And we are out. Took a sizable amount of damage there. No, you don't, birdies. And I went up the slider for that, specifically. And now I have the one, and the one is a little teleportation, or a little helicopter platform. It's going to get me up to where I want to be. Because, hey look, extra guy. And once again, we switch to Metal Blade, and get off my lawn. Guys, and nothing. Okay. And this is Crash Man. Crash Man dies quickly to Airman's weapon, but Airman's weapon shoots like that, so you need to kind of bum rush him. You can't shoot him from far away. So again, it's one of the situations where you just have to be willing to take a couple hits. Or not. Two shots, you're done. Wow, isn't that like more than half of the bosses already? Are we really getting through Mega Man 2 that fast? I may have to play another game on this uh, playthrough just so we have something else to watch here. Again, I may or may not be making this easier, making it look easier than it is. It's definitely not 
the most challenging Mega Man. Uh, in fact, I think it's probably the easiest, with the exception of 5 and 6, because what happens with those games is I fall asleep halfway through them, and then when I wake up, they're beaten. Mega Man 5 and 6. Uh, anyway, so yeah, Flashman's next, because Quick Man, you need Flashman's weapon, and he's one of the only legitimately difficult bosses. Uh, without Flashman, it's really, really hard to beat him. So let's see if I can get this this time. Um... Yes! Chickens in the background! No more stars, we got chickens. So I did that, I don't know how many were unnecessary inputs, but I hit start to activate um, the, the level, and then before that screen shows up, I was holding up, select, start, and A. And again, there's no reason to not be using Metal Man's weapon at this point. Um, so when, you may have just noticed when I got hit, I got knocked back. Uh, you can counteract that by jumping. And then right here, if I want to see what's up in that special little spot up top... Whoa, jeez, there's Slidey Boy. Just, uh, do this. So yeah, any... This level is difficult because you slide. It's like ice, basically. But if you know that all you have to do is jump to stop the slide, it's not that hard. You know, sliding, not anymore. You watch, he slides. And look how far he slides, too. Like, and then just jump and he stops on a dime. Well, that's useful. I don't have to deal with you. Deal with you. It's a little shortcut. Well, then I'll bet you this is a little shortcut too. Don't even need that. Hopefully, I get some energy here. Well, there we go. Man, this is just. I know where all the shortcuts are. Oh, yeah, I should. Oh, well. <laughs> this is another area where um, the Metal Blades won't help. The Metal Blades don't hurt that big robot walker. So, again, I could have made my life a lot easier. You know? Oh, no. Why did I do that? So, Mega Man is one of those games where when you run away from a spot on the screen where an enemy is and then come back, the enemy comes right back at you. So, you can make your life impossible by... Well, see, watch. See, look at that. Oh, now there's two of them. Oh, now there's three of them! <laughs> but me, I'm one of those kind of people that likes my life hard, so, uh, you know. Alright. Oops. Alright. Done. I'll take that energy tank. Alright. Oh no! No giant robot, leave me alone! Phew! Okay. Now I don't even... I, I don't even remember what hurts this guy. I think it's Bubble. Let's go with Bubble. But I honestly, I don't even remember. I know he's a jerk. <laughs> we fought at Hal when I was at Half-Life and you still couldn't beat me. How sad, Flashman. You know, if you'd have lived up to your name and been wearing a trench coat and opened it up as soon as we fought, I probably would have died right away. And then you would have won. But you didn't live up to your name. Maybe next game. message from Dr. Santa Claus. Okay, so now I have all the items. There's item 1, 2, and 3. Uh, they're not random. They appear at the bosses where I got them. Every time. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and check out part 4.